it was 21-7. And is there a confidence in this team among these players that even when you get off to a poor start, you know what you have as a group that you'll be able to come back, get settled, and come back? Yeah, I mean, it's a long game. You know, um, you know, different units, different, um, you know, lineups, you know, of guys, you know, can go out there and, you know, get us back in the game. So, I mean, we'll be able to always, you know, adjust, um, you know, get guys the ball and, you know, hopefully, you know, get stops. I think that was the biggest thing for us was that we were able to get stops and then turn our defense into offense. And at the end, how gratifying was it to finish even with Jimmy sitting at the end? Yeah, I mean, it was it was good. Um, you know, anytime you can win without Jimmy in the fourth quarter, obviously we were doing something right. Um, but, uh, you know, it was good to get the win. Tyler, a lot of guys talk about how they like to disguise their floater or their lob pass. So against the big dropping, you can't really pick what it's coming. Do you feel like you're getting to that point where uh, they're kind of linked together in that way where it's kind of getting unpredictable? Uh, yeah, I mean, I try to, you know, switch it up and, um, you know, take that one or two extra, you know, dribbles, you know, in the pocket to be able to either make the right read. So whether it's a lob on the, the big coming up or if the big's back, it's a layup or a floater. So, um, you know, just being able to make the right read, being patient and, you know, keeping my dribble alive. I think it took Bam like a quarter and a half to score. Mm -hmm. And he still ends up with 36 or whatever it was. I mean, do you think that would have been something that was in his wheelhouse? Even just like a year ago that he, if, you know, to get off to a, a, not even a slow start, like a non-existent start, and then just, just find the groove like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, even when Bam's not scoring, I think he impacts the game, you know, in, in so many ways. Um, as you obviously seen tonight, I mean, he could score, not score almost halfway through the game and still end up with 36. Um, on other nights, he could, you know, score 20 in the first half and then, be a lockdown defender the whole second half and not score. So, you know, there's just different things that he does and um, impacts the game so much. So, um, I mean, Bam was killing tonight, I think, 36, and a lot of them were just in transition, attacking and, you know, exploiting the mismatch. Tyler, on on the on Bam, again, obviously, the, the growth we've seen from you and him has been huge. When you first came into the league three years ago and you were around Bam in practice the first couple months, could you have seen him becoming this level offensive player? Um, I mean, honestly, no. I mean, obviously, the way he's, you know, continued to get better, I mean, the sky's the limit now that you see, you know, the skill level he has already, and I think, you know, continuing to work at it summer by summer and then just reps each season. I mean, he could be, obviously he's a generational talent in, in my eyes. So I'm just excited to continue to see him grow. Well, how unusual is it as a player, as, as a vet like yourself now, to <laughs> a wise vet like yourself? Um, they do some, Spurs do some really unusual stuff. Yeah. And, and, and it pops like reinvented it like 20 times over his 25 years or whatever it is. But the fact that they can be without their three main guys tonight and still kind of get whatever they want for, for long stretches of this game. Like how, how unusual is the stuff that they run? Um, you know, I mean, their, their drives are, are different. You know, they'll attack to the paint, kick out. And a lot of teams, you'll see that spray out to the corners, usually a three. But, you know, the Spurs, they, that'll be a drive kick another drive and another drive and they just continue to keep driving and it really breaks the you know the defense down um you know they caught us on some switches um myself not being able to box out rebound you know the big so just being able to um they were able to continue to you know drive us and that and i think that hurt us a little bit but you know credit to, to pop and what the spurs do they continue to evolve and whatever they have they they continue to make it work what do you think of this challenging stretch of the schedule coming up, beginning with the Bulls on Monday night? Um, I'm excited. I, I think it's a great opportunity for us. Um, you know, we can try to, you know, gain some ground in the in the standings. And, um, I mean, it's three games that, you know, if you're not a competitor, it's not going to be, you know, your type of game. All right, Tyler, thank you. Thanks.